I'm Andrew Young, Senior Director of Product Marketing here at ThoughtSpot. We actually just celebrated our seven year anniversary. Our founders came from the likes of Google, Bing, Yahoo, and Oracle. And along with backgrounds in analytics, they also brought with them expertise in search technology, systems infrastructure. So the problem with respect to the bottleneck around over-reliance on data analysts, that was a problem that they wanted to solve and really address that to those non-technical business users. And so they created a category around search and AI-driven analytics. Think of accessing all your data and finding answers to your question through just a search bar like a Google. We're taking a lot of these consumer space analogies and really taking it into the enterprise and the purposes of data and analytics, ultimately to be able to make analytics through our solution simple and smart and fast. We really want to provide a means for end users, non-technical business users, to easily access and find their answers on their data through search. We've also built in an AI engine that understands who you are and uses that information and uses the understanding of the underlying data to provide you with automated insights that are most relevant to you. We can be deployed on premises uh, in the public cloud across all three major cloud vendors. We're targeting the needs of large enterprises. They have different requirements that we have to address. From a human scale perspective, you need a solution that's simple, that's intuitive, and you also need those answers to be trusted. From an enterprise perspective, we have to be able to cater to the needs across user and data volume, being able to handle also the complex schemas and data sets and any number of data sets across the sources that they actually come from, and then be able to handle the security and governance requirements of the enterprise. We wanted to provide them a means to just ask that question with a search bar, and as they type in their question, the system should be smart enough to understand that analytical intent of that question, formulate the underlying query, go to the relevant data sets, bring all of the data back in the form of a best fit visualization with a calculated answer uh, to that question. And we want the end user to be able to get their insights at the speed of thought. These end users think of ThoughtSpot as an answer engine. They think of it as a Google for their enterprise data. As you type character by character in the search bar, the system actually gets better with you because it has indexed all the underlying column names, the calculated fields in the system, the uh, analytical keyword that we built in uh, to the product, and it leverages all the technologies within search. It's not just recognizing the matches for a particular term, but it will suggest all the other related terms that uh, could actually formulate a match based on that as well. The search bar actually knows who you are and understands based on your usage behavior and your group's usage behavior, what would be most relevant to you. And it uses that information along with the underlying data characteristics that it understands. And then also as it returns, even within the search bar, not just in the search results, it also applies row level, column level, and table level security so that in the search bar, you are only allowed to see what you have access to. What it suggests to you is going to be the most relevant based on its ranking and the most secure based on what you have access to. Again, to drive you toward that precise answer that you want to get to. We built a platform to be able to handle all of these intricacies you know, around scale. You know, We're talking about searching across multiple data sets, fact tables, and you know, dimension tables that could be in the billions of rows of data. Uh, and then applying the role level security, granular security roles across data sets, across rows within the data, across columns uh, of attributes in the data, and applying all of that to provide you with that answer. And so the underlying power force of our architecture is our in-memory calculation engine called Falcon. This is built in-house, uh, and so we built in a massively parallel in-memory cache and calculation engine that can achieve extremely fast speeds of calculations across uh, those billions of rows of data. And it sits on a distributed scale-out architecture, so you're not constrained, and it's only at runtime that determines you know, all the different data sets that it needs to navigate across and provide the right joins to return you that answer. Working together with this in-memory calculation engine in Falcon is an in-memory graph database. But what this does is it stores all of the underlying entities and their metadata, as well as relationships across all of them. Now, all of this data 
and all of their metadata are represented within this graph store. It allows the system to understand all of the relationships between all of them. And this allows you, as you're asking that question, for the system to know how all the dependencies are between all of these objects. And it allows you to track the data lineage. A couple of years back, uh, we launched Spot IQ. This is AI-driven analytics. And within Spot IQ, what we provide are automated and inline insights. And as you are searching, as you're asking a question and you get an answer back, you do get inline insights uh, to tell you uh, what else is interesting that it automatically uncovered about that data. Our goal is really to make analytics as easy as your favorite consumer app.